in the life poverty is teaches us a lot and we can understand determine emotion in the days of poverty and how to handle the circumstances this is also taught by the days of adversity most of the people believe that the days of poverty is are very sweet and we all are familiar with the term that each companion are plenty of but not a single in our grief that's why i would like to say that bad times are also important to come in our life to make us familiar with the truth that who have on us for you who are ready to accompany you or who are just showing themselves that they are your own but they are pseudo they are for false friends and of course beauty lies in the eyes of beholders uh, if you see thoroughly that of course the days of adversity have its have their own beauty we should enjoy with our passions and courage these days provide us the region to succeed and to be pivotal and then to be more enthusiastic more dynamic and overcome the situation very well these days provide us region to be prepared for our future what can i say to all of you more than this that if the bad times come in our life then it will suddenly pass like the good times time is of course changeable full of variation it and uh, of course time does not have any kind of fear or any kind of uh, uh, on us Uh, time does not know how to prejudice with anybody else it will provide you the reason to celebrate your life with courtesy uh, take the case of it uh, if you do not know how to read very well and if somebody is buji in your family then of course you will suffer a lot but the, these types of example provide you the reason to work hard and to make your character and if you have created your character that everything will be under your feet love your life never try to end it this is the greatest gift of the god and a study bible of course a study will provide you the reason to enjoy all kinds of things it will make you worthy to love with others but generally in the absence of a study people love at others this is the worst thing that they can do they can do okay it is true that we 
we can have some complaints if we have any kind of compl complaint about anybody else then we should say it directly this is the normal thing that we can be disturbed directly or indirectly with anybody else but what does it mean to keep jealousy to say abusing words to say boasting the boasting cannot help you to overcome the situation you should just go directly to that person and say all your feelings try to understand that what kind of the person he is and what you are and where is the misunderstanding taking place you can overcome the situation by this way you can get the clarification but if you say somebody else then somebody else will the will, will distort the fact the speaker has said for the different purpose and you are saying for the different purpose and then the listener will also say or with somebody else for the different purpose <coughs> the fact is distorting gradually and if in this manner chaos will exist for your tomorrow are you getting of course this is quite easy to understand and of uh, most of the relation your block can most of the relation your are uh, uh, isolated and you are feeling loneliness because of this <coughs> so let you just uh, be simple share your facts with the actual person and uh, just clarify the misunderstanding and all kinds of uh, troubles however if you are boasting yourself and if you are humiliating others these two are the worst thing that you can do in your life remember my brother the fan if you are boasting yourself then you are challenging your future with the help of the dead this is not the good thing rabbit cannot be half fall dream should include your passion your craziness that will be the meaning fall if you are saying that that you can do this you can do that you are boasting yourself with the help of that dream this reality won't be how for you must go through the fact in my opinion people usually keep their dream high very high very very high like the huge sky in spite of it what do they do they do not make themselves worthy to execute gradually they want to fulfill their dream with the help of somebody else or they want to fulfill their uh, dream with the help of the grace of the god only don't be fatalistic if you have your dream you fight for that what will the god fight for you tell me yes they know any reason but god will start only accompany you god will start only accompany you 
So let you enjoy your life and this is the beauty for that, the body and soul have been gifted in the form of the life to you. You believe in your hard work, follow the path of the legendary characters and never try to humiliate anybody else, never try to humiliate anybody else. Future is not in your hand. You can just work hard and enjoy your life with the help of your courtesy, your simplicity and your skill, talents and of course your proficiency. Try to be expressive. Try to Express yourself as beautiful, as beautifully as you can. This will provide you the region to go ahead and people will get the region to motivate you, to praise you. In my opinion, I have seen several people who are economically so sound, in spite of it, they do not li like to work hard, they are prosperous, but they think that that's enough. To eat, to sleep, to get a stool, that's enough. To humiliate others, that's enough. How is it meaningful? I don't think so. You are the part of the society. You are not society. And of course, people can say on mouth some beautiful words, but people will not love you by, your, by their bottom of hearts. I think this is enough for today. I have expressed my emotion for the well-being of the human beings. If we live together, then we should live with happiness. We should not try to boast ourselves and we should not try to humiliate others. Love is real cure. And for that, let you make yourself pure, come near without fear, my dear. Enjoy today, forget the past, see the future.